A man was shot and killed in a busy part of the French Quarter over the weekend. Around the same time, some bills designed to keep guns out of parts of New Orleans, including the French Quarter, continue to fail. A bill sponsored by State Representative Mandy Landry designed to prohibit permitless concealed handguns within 100 feet of a parade route died at the House floor yesterday. Winston Reed was in studio and has some business leaders as they continue to push for limiting a pro-gun set to take effect this summer. There is still no legislation on the books mitigating guns at Mardi Gras or other parades. Bill 627 authored by Representative Mandy Landry failed 39 to 57 lawmakers in opposition of the bill places the blame on criminals and not the guns. New Orleans and Company, the NOLA Coalition, New Orleans and Jefferson Business Councils, the Metropolitan Crime Commission and the city's Chamber of Commerce are some big names in support of limiting the permitless concealed carry law that takes effect on July 4th. Five years in a row, I worked Mardi Gras in New Orleans as a trooper. And it's hard to understand what you face every single day that you're there. Because Mardi Gras New Orleans is probably one of the most unique events probably in the world. It's already against the law for criminals to carry those guns. I mean, that's, I, don't, I don't understand why putting limitations on law-abiding law citizens it helps, uh, helps lower crime. Sunday night in the French Quarter, as large crowds were celebrating Cinco de Mayo and the end of Jazz Fest, a man was shot and killed in the 500 block of Bienville. The French Quarter is a major area business leaders want to see carved out and exempted from the no permit carry law. Leslie. 